All right, thanks everybody. Still working from home, so welcome back to the Doug McConey vlog. Have you ever wondered what it was like to move in the middle of a global pandemic? To drive from St. Louis, Missouri to Washington, D.C., where there is a stay-at-home order, but moving is an essential service? This is the vlog for you. All right, so... We've got the car packed up with a bunch of boxes. I think the main things that we need to move back here ourselves are clothes, wine and booze, because the movers and cleaning supplies, because the movers won't move that, and anything that we don't want the packers and movers to touch. We, we found these in our basement. We're gonna use these over the course of the next three or four days. It's a 13 hour drive to, to, to DC. Um, it's a long drive. All right. First stop, gas. This is taking a minute. It's got a big gas tank. All right. Mission accomplished. Last step, hand sanitizer. Okay, DC bound. Cal, you ready? I'm ready. Who decided to move on a, in a pandemic? You uh, this decision this time. Wait a minute. Yeah. That's just it's just as when it happened. Yeah. All right. We made it to DC. I'm gonna be working from, from here for a couple days. Packers come on Saturday, movers come on Sunday. At this point, after 13 hours almost on the road, we're gonna enjoy some wine. Um, this will be one less bottle to, uh, to take back with us. Cheers to staying safe and staying healthy. All right. So over the last several weeks, I've been thinking a lot about how this pandemic is going to impact the business that I'm responsible for. What can I do as a business leader to prepare in such an uncertain time? And what we decided to do was take that same rationale that I'm trying to apply to our business and apply it to our move. First and foremost, we needed to make a plan. We needed to second, manage risk. And third, we knew we needed to have to adapt throughout this process. All right, it's Saturday. The next phase of the move is we have packers coming. Kelly and I, well, really, mostly Kelly, has tried to be very strategic with respect to where we're going to let the Packers have access to the apartment. So we're gonna make sure that the Packers are not up there. Upstairs, we've got the master bedroom and we've brought everything downstairs. The other challenging piece of our move is some of the stuff's going back to our house in St. Louis and then a bunch of the furniture is going into to storage. So this is what's going to, to the storage unit that we have in St. Louis. And then this is the stuff that's going back to the St. Louis house. It's really books and cleaning supplies. Um, a guitar I don't know how to play. I'm a little anxious about having people in the house, but we're gonna wear masks and gloves, and I, I, I think and hope they will too. We're gonna try to keep our social distance, and then we're gonna wash our hands and uh, clean down the surfaces after they leave to try to be as safe as possible. All right, it's moving day. So we got everything packed up. This is going into storage. This is theoretically going into our car. We're gonna find out if all of that stuff fits there. Gotta always pack the coffin maker last. Start loading up the car, shall we? All right, we're moving. 
So we had our first piece of drama. The way it works in DC is you call her several weeks ahead so that the movers can uh, come and get your stuff. Well, the problem is somebody didn't move their car and it's right in the middle of the block. That's the tow truck. Um, I take no pleasure in towing somebody's car, but I really wish they would have. These, the, the car's been here all weekend and the signs have been up for a week, so. Um, this is where all our stuff's gonna go. Can you envision me without a beard? It's kind of weird, huh? All right. Let me go find my wife. One of the many talents that my amazing wife has is packing a car to the absolute brim. All right, um, the movers have left. Let's, uh, let's get our ETA in St. Louis, 4.15 a.m. All right, 16th Street, that's a wrap. So we made it successfully back to St. Louis, 4.30 in the morning. I made sure I didn't schedule my first conference call till about 10.30, so I got about four or five hours of sleep. That's not enough for me. Check out the sleep vlog. It's really important to get your sleep. I cut up the next few nights. But I feel like Kelly and I did everything that we could to plan for the trip, to manage risk, and then we had to adapt throughout the the, the course of the project. If you can be prepared and know that you've done everything you can to manage risk, and when those challenges come to take a deep breath and figure out how you might be able to adapt that plan, that is how you can manage through a crisis. That's how you can manage through the grocery store. Taking those little steps in every aspect of your life, whether you're running a business, whether you're trying to move in a global pandemic, or you're just simply trying to buy groceries for yourself. Thanks for tuning in. If you're new around here, make sure you like and subscribe the Doug McConey vlog and uh, stay tuned in a couple weeks for some more exciting content on the Doug McConey channel.